Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mendoza, and I'm the Commissioner of Public Health for Monroe County and a family physician at Highland Family Medicine and Highland Hospital. Until a few months ago, most people outside of healthcare and public health had never even heard the term contact tracing, but it's not new. People working in the health department have long used contact tracing as a way to prevent the spread of communicable illnesses like measles. And now we are using it to contain the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. When we find out an individual has tested positive for COVID-19, we contact that individual with two goals in mind. First, we want to find out where the infected individual might have acquired the infection. And second, we attempt to identify others, contacts, who might be at risk from that individual simply by being in close proximity to them. If you test positive for COVID-19, you will get a call from our contact tracing interview team. First, they will ask you questions to take you back in time, helping you to remember where you might have been exposed to the virus. In order to do a thorough investigation, we will often want to talk through all of the places you might have been and all of the people you might have been with for the two weeks prior to when you acquired the infection. Then, they will also want to look ahead in time, after the date we believe you acquired the infection, to identify others who could have acquired the infection from you. Who did you come into close contact with and in what places? Were one or both of you wearing a face covering or a mask? Were you closer than six feet together and for how long? Those are the sorts of questions that we will want to help you to remember. Then we notify each of those contacts to inform them that they might have been exposed to a person who tested positive for COVID-19. We don't tell them who that person was because that would be a violation of their privacy. But in talking to them, if we determine that the interaction between the contacts and the people who tested positive is high enough risk, we will ask those contacts to quarantine, which means to stay home for 14 days following the date of their last exposure to the person with a known infection. If we learn that that contact also has symptoms, we will very likely then place them under isolation and ask them to get tested. Our goal is to minimize the risk to the public in the event that these contacts do indeed become infected. So to that end, our contact tracing team checks in on the contacts every day to find out if they are noticing any symptoms of COVID-19 and to see that they have all the support that they need in order to finish their quarantine. This is so important to stopping the spread of COVID-19. So if you get a call from a contact tracer, please answer the phone and please be patient. Your cooperation is in fact protecting public health.